Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Today we are cooking low fat twisters. They are based on, I guess, one of the franchises that do chicken strips in a tortilla. Um, you know who they are because that's why you're making them. All right, so here's what we need. I could not get tenderloins. So my butcher has actually done chicken breast strips. So don't sweat if you can't get chicken tenders, tenderloins, sorry. Um, it basically is just a fancy pants version of um, chicken breast. So it's all good. All right, so what we need to do first of all, oven onto 180, get an oven, a baking tray, spray it, put paper on it. Gather up your ingredients. So we've got dried breadcrumbs, lemon pepper seasoning is that one, an egg, water, 12 tenderloins, half a cup of flour, some olive oil spray, salad of your choice. I'm going to do lettuce and tomato, the tortillas, which is your wrap bread, and a light mayonnaise. It's light enough. All right, so there's a little bit of a processing plant to do, but it's easy enough, so um, anyone can do this. All right, so you need to grab three plates, one, two, and three. On your first plate, you want your one cup of dry breadcrumbs. Mix that in with your lemon pepper seasoning. You want two teaspoons, approximately. Uh, thereabouts. So that's just basically going to give your chicken strips that lemony taste. Mix that in. You don't want to have... Um, two tenders that taste like lemon pepper and the rest that just taste like breadcrumbs. On the second plate, you want your egg, which you're going to beat. Try not to put it all over the bench like I just did. I'm sort of in a hurry to do this because I'm running late doing it. What's new? Have to work have to work to earn money so all good so whip that up that goes on your second plate now don't get rid of that spoon we're, we're doing an addition to this one I got an extra cup out but I don't really need it so I'll just remove that from my existence for the moment we want two tablespoons of water they're going to go in with that Yes, that's correct. And go with cold water. You don't want hot water. Two of those. So then you just need to give that a extra mix because at the moment that just looks like eggs. On your third plate, all you need is half a cup of plain flour. All right, bump that on. Now I am going to give the chicken a good wash because it's been in the fridge for a couple of days. So while I do that, you grab these ingredients ready. I suggest that you wash your chicken as well if you've had it in the fridge for a couple of days. Uh, it does sometimes get a little bit smelly and um, the worst thing you can do is get food poisoning from chicken because you haven't cleaned it. So I'll be back with clean chicken. My paranoia about smelly chicken was unnecessary this time. It was just last time when I had those chicken thigh fillets. They just didn't smell right. But anyway, nothing wrong with being a little bit paranoid about it. All right, so he's just cut me chicken breast into 12 strips, which is what you can do if you cannot get tenderloins. Okay, so into the flour. Mm. 
into the egg, into the crumb, and then onto the tray. This is probably a good one to get some helpers, especially if they're eating it, onto the tray. Set up a little bit of a, um, a conga line or a production line. Don't dry the chicken after you've um, washed it because you'll actually keep the flour on that way with it being a bit damp anyway. If you want to do a couple at a time, you can. It's probably quicker if you can do two or three at once. So yeah, I saw this recipe and I thought, well, this is a good one to, to do as a quick recipe on a Monday. Um, Mondays can be a day where I get home later and um, I don't always want to cook a big extravagant meal. So something like this is definitely a good thing because um, you can act the good thing with this is you can actually have these cold and um, use them for your lunches the next day if you've got any left of course might be one of these that you've got none left because they look pretty good I'm actually quite impressed with the fact that the crumb is staying on I might need two trays I'm guessing that my um, chicken breast strips are bigger than um, tenderloins. So, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a good thing. If you do them in threes, it's quicker because you have them sort of from one to the next. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another tray out. What a shit. And I'm going to do four here because that's the last four. Okay, perfect. So the good news is at least I don't need to look for any more flour or anything because sometimes when you do things like this you find that you don't have enough of something um, the worst thing also is when you've got too much of something left over so try and just use it all up if you can you can't do anything with that flour it's not like you can cook a cake with it please don't try Okay, I've got to get another tray before I can finish these off. Don't you love when you get it all over your fingers? I'll be back. I'm going to get a tray. Okay, so we have two trays ready to go in the oven 15 minutes. Turn them over for another 15 minutes and we'll be back when they're cooked. Okay, so I've just turned them over and so far they're looking good. They haven't fallen apart. The crumb's still on them. So while they're on the final 15 minutes, I've just um, washed up, which was good because there was obviously a lot of mess there. We're going to take our tomato and our lettuce and just get that ready. And these are the tortillas. You can get whichever ones you like. Uh, there's so many different ones now. This is... These have almost taken over from the bread sandwich sort of thing. I was having those for a while, but my problem with those is if I'm out sort of like driving around or whatever, um, really hard to wrap and take on the run, but I do prefer those over bread because bread tends to sit on my stomach and make me feel very bloated. But So that's just my personal preference. So... With the lettuce, I just got the curly lettuce, the fancy lettuce. So just need a couple of these. Um, now, obviously, my recipe says to use a light mayonnaise. Um, 
I personally love uh, sweet chili and mayo so I'm actually going to chuck some sweet chili on it as well. I'm only going to get enough for one uh, tortilla because I'm only having one today so I'll slice my little bit of tomato and then put the rest away and then um, I've got it for another day so as I said this will make six um, so I've sort of got it that I will be having these for lunch not that I mind but so it'll use up the tortillas this is a pack of eight tortillas so obviously I've got an extra two anyway so that'll be good hopefully I'll get the chance to eat them even on the run all right so when that buzzer goes um, and we're ready to assemble I'll check back in with you and um, we'll, we'll wrap them. See you soon. Okay, so the, um, the chicken strips are done. So I'm just going to grab a plate and make this up. I hate when they get stuck to each other. give you a stupid flavor sachet which I've just put a hole in the second one down oh, I'm just gonna pull them all out makes you wonder what that bloody sachet does if they've all just stuck together like this that's useless How ridiculous. I've never had a packet of these that have done this before. Never mind, I'll use two to make one. Probably should have put a knife or a spatula between them, but who knew? Who knew that they'd actually be that crap? Okay, so I wouldn't normally say use two, but unfortunately, I have to use two just to make it up. All right, I'll just eat, I'll just snack on that bit. All right, so wash your lettuce. You want to try and have a fair bit of lettuce in it. A couple of slices of tomato. My normally sharp knife has gone blunt. Never mind. That'll do. Just two slices. All right. A drizzle of sweet chili. Couple of spoons of mayo. Spread that out. I'll go grab some tortilla, um, some strips. So I only want two. There they are. Pop two of those in there. Best way to roll it up is to roll the bottom hold it tight roll it in cut it in half if you want and there you have it thank you for watching cooking with violet vixen you've been watching low fat twisters i hope your bread works out better than mine and i'm going to catch you on our next adventure